Hey everybody, welcome to the random game on shrinking. The game I have here today is called X-Car Experimental Racing. Some kind of racing game that was put out by Bethesda Softworks. You may have heard of Bethesda, they made uh, the Elder Scrolls games, I guess they still do. Uh, this game was put out around 1997 or so. Uh, interestingly enough, it's still a DOS game. I bought it primarily for the cool packaging and the fact that it's a Bethesda game, I thought it might be okay. But you see it like comes in this sort of rectangular clear box and then in inside the rectangular box is another inner box that's shaped like an X, I guess because X car. And basically the same thing on the back, you can sort of see through the, 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 the clear outer box and you can see the X on the back. And if you look at what it says here, it says uh, extreme machines, surpassing the limits of traditional auto racing, X car is unlimited class racing. Bound only by the laws of physics, your X-Car prototype is the pinnacle of speed. X-Car challenges all racing enthusiasts and delivers a state-of-the-art adrenaline rush. Are you up to the challenge? Race any one of 16 prototype X-Cars, the latest experimental racing vehicles. Test drive your prototype. Experience brilliant high-res SVGA graphics. It's sustained frame rates. Oh my gosh. Library of real racing circuits, generate real telemetry data on the high speed oval, skid pad, or handling track to customize your car for optimum performance. The first true hardcore racing simulation with an action mode for those who just want to experience the pure fun of racing fast. It includes network and modem support. So basically, it's a racing game. <laughs> I guess with experimental cars. I never played it before, never really heard about it before. Again, I picked it up primarily because the box looked cool. I guess as a game collector, big box game collector, I'm entitled to get some cool boxes. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside, and then I can actually try it out and see if the game is any good. Um, there's a, like a shrink wrap on top of the outer box. It definitely feels like original shrink. You know, it has like some of these like loose pockets over here and over here, but it's very flexible shrink wrap. It's I just I believe it's original. I think I can even just take it off without using the scissors. Let me try that. Yeah, it just sort of pulls right off. So I take that outer layer off. And the question will be, how do you get the actual box out of it? Because this is obviously a real you know, genius design. Um, <laughs> I guess, you know, they wanted to make it stand out of the shelf. Okay, so it looks like this, this part is a two-piece plastic box. So that just opens up and this you'd think would come out of the bottom. Uh, and it sort of does, just a little bit stuck. So there we have now the, the inner box. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's these little pieces of tape that are keeping it taped shut on both sides. So I'll have to cut that tape somehow. And luckily I have right here Big, massive knife I'll use to cut these things. I think these knives are actually for cooking things. There's something that, that my wife likes to do called cooking, but I'm not really sure how that works. I just need to open these boxes. So let's see if I can get this in here. Oh, that didn't really work. Um, okay, so there's a, there's a trick to like not actually like cut the whole box open while you're doing this. Let me try one more time and just sort of slip it in here. Uh, hmm. This is proving to be a little more complicated. Oh, there's also tape on the back here. Looks like there's like multiple places I have to cut. And like, there's, you can't really see, but there's sort of a flap there. So it's not, not so trivial. Maybe it tucks in or something. All right, let me try one more time. Okay. Okay. Got this one mostly cut there. There's one of these videos where I want to put like the fast forwarding in or something. And then this one here at the top, which we cut it to the back. I don't know what I'm doing. That's probably much my tagline in general. I do not know what I'm doing. How do you open this thing? 
<laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so you see, there is a flap here. It's like very unintuitive. I mean, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to figure this out. That's the problem with these non standard boxes is like, you need to be a genius to be able to open it. All right. Well, finally, I got the stupid thing open. More trouble than it's worth. So what's inside over here? That looks like it's it. So we have a letter from the publisher. Looks like from Bethesda saying, thank you for buying X car. It's a product of two racing professionals. You could drive at speeds 300 miles an hour, blah, 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 blue. Here's some frequently asked questions. Then I have here installation and troubleshooting guide, which is basically a pamphlet. Looks like there is a registration card, product warranty and registration, as you might expect. Leave this aside for a second. There's a manual, which it's not color, but it's pretty, pretty solid manual. Um, almost 60 pages so it has things like uh license agreement that's fun options racing modifying the car the tracks physics driver's school they're going to need that troubleshooting and then we have the actual jewel case well, the manual is here so no manual the jewel case they couldn't manage to get the cd actually in the thing without bouncing around but it's a cool uh picture of a tire on the CD. Looks like it's unmarked. And the back, X car. So relatively bare bones, um, but cool box. So definitely something cool for your collection or for my collection in this case. I will uh, be trying out this game and probably putting up some gameplay footage since it's a DOS. DOS box should be pretty easy to, to get it running. Hope you found this interesting, entertaining, etc. Please like, share, tell your friends, leave comments, and have a great day, everybody.